as long as you believe in yourself, right, and you start to question all the old limiting programming and conditioning about yourself, bang, straight up there. So stay with me guys, we have a question on procrastination and this is a great one. This is so good. I can't wait to share this with you because huge, huge breakthrough here. And this person's question I think is going to help a lot of people. Now we're just going to dive in and we're going to break down what the problem is. We're looking for a breakthrough to get in touch with that natural flow that we, we all have felt before and we all crave. We want to be there, which is the way we should feel. So let's see what this person's going through and let's see if we can try and answer the question that they have. It says, it's about procrastination. It says, these past few months, I have been completely lacking in focus. Daily goals and things I need to take care of are slipping on me. I do a little, but I'm not feeling fully engaged and driven as I have been before. It's frustrating because I know I can be driven, but I'm not feeling it right now. I need to be more focused. What am I doing wrong and how can I get my focus back? Okay. Now, have you ever felt like that? Maybe you felt sometimes you're lacking in focus and you would like to be more focused, more goal oriented. And you know, it's that feeling of uh, drifting by and that uncomfortable feeling like I know I can do more, but for some reason, I'm just not highly motivated enough to do it. Now I have the whiteboard here and we're going to break this down let's see because this person says they are lacking focus and the truth is they are lacking focus they are really big time lacking focus there's a big problem here but the solution to it is very very easily fixed now let me put this down because we're going to get into this now there are levels to this. We're talking about mindset here. And if we can understand it, it can be a huge, huge help. Now, where this person is, excuse my paper here. I'm gonna get a new one soon. But what we have, let me see if you can see this. There are sort of like three levels to mindset. And this is the first level. Hopefully you can see that. And this is the second level. This will make sense soon. And I might need a new pen, but we'll see. And this is up here. At the top, we have the highest level, which is just one. Now, so you can see that there. Now, this is where this person currently is. Okay. Now, this you could call, we're, ta we're trying to find out here what is the truth and what is not the truth. Okay, why is this person lacking focus? And it's all to do with how they're thinking. Such a subtle way to fall for this issue. Okay, it's very easy for us to feel like this because we feel like it sometimes. We all drift into that thing of, oh, I wish I was more focused, I'm lacking focus. Why is it happening? Okay, this is a super quick way to get out of it. This is what we do, and this level here is, this is our ego. All of this here is ego. Now what our ego does is it has a very sneaky game. It wants us to think that everything in here is ego. So if we're going to transcend our ego and get to truth, truth by the way is here. This is truth. We all want to get here, but this one up here is the highest level. This is when you are in that completely without even thinking about things. This is what you could call your flow state. You don't even think at this level. Everything just comes naturally and easy. You don't have to think about it. You're just doing things. Everything's working. You're feeling engaged. You're feeling motivated. This is where we want to get. There's no thinking here. You're just doing. You're just being. Beautiful, right? We want to get there. Now, in order for us to get there, we have to go through this level. This is where we normally are. This is where we are 97% of the time, believe it or not, which is why so many of us struggle in life. 
we want to get here to where two and a half percent. Now there's another little small percentage here that aren't even here. They live up here all the time, okay? Now that would be great to get there. But what we need to do is we're starting here and everyone wants to jump straight to here. There's a process you have to go through and it's this level here. You have to find out what's true and what's false. Okay, now this is false. Now, this is here, this is also your ego. This is not your ego. I know I'm going all over the place with this. If you just bear with me, this will make sense specifically to this issue. Now, your ego cannot stand being at this level of consciousness because it's, you're bringing it to the truth. Now, that's what we all have to do, okay? What our ego does up here is, it, it's, it tries to make you think that you're at this level. You're actually searching for the truth, when really if we're at this level, we'll never find truth. The truth about ourselves, the truth about what's important in life. So our ego does two things. It sets up its own version of true and false. And it actually calls them good and bad. Now let's use this example, this person. What's the good thing that this person is after? They are after focus. Okay, hopefully we can see that. They've put being highly focused and driven and motivated in the good room, and they've put non-focused, okay, non-focused in the bad room. And they're thinking that, well, as long as I'm going towards this in the good room, that's very good, and I'm disowning this part, okay? I'm making a choice. We're here in the middle, right? And we think that we're making a, a, a choice if we're going and choosing that one there, okay? This is you in the middle. Always choosing between what's good and what's bad. Now, what you'll find then is that We tend to focus on this stuff here, the non-focused. Why am I non-focused all the time? Okay, so we're, we think we're bringing this to the truth, when really we should be actually worried about this. Okay, this is the good sounding ego. I need to be focused all the time. I need to be focused on my goals. I need to be focused on external things. So we bring up here. Actually, we bring up non-focused. What I'm suggesting you do is forget all of this, forget suggesting that folk, being focused is good and non-focused is bad. And I think you should start to question this, the whole idea of being focused. Because what are you focusing on? You're focusing on external goals, okay? You're, you're focusing and you're saying in, in the thing, I'm not focused. And the truth is you're not focused. You're not focused on what's right, which is the truth which is what's important. And what is important? Myself. Who am I? This is bringing it back to the truth. Now, if you remember who you are, focusing on external things is secondary. You have been tricked into focusing on being focused is good, not being focused is bad on goals, activities, external things in the world, right? Achieving things. Where is your self-evaluation in all of this? It's going on in the background and it's not being focused on. So the ego is taking it over basically, right? That's the default for conditioning. It's to judge ourselves as not being good enough, unfortunately. So what you need to do is, okay, focus. The whole idea of being focused on external things, bring it to the truth, irrelevant is what it will tell you. This, by the way, up here is your decision maker here. This is real choice. Down here, there's no choice at all. If you're focusing on being focused and not being focused, you think this is better than that. It's all irrelevant. Nothing at this level of consciousness matters. This level is actually asking the right questions, bringing them to the truth, the fundamental questions about who you are as a person. So what I would say is stop focusing on uh, being focused and start to question, who am I? Now you could say, if you're bringing it to here, you're saying, yes, I am focused. And now I'm focused on the right thing. Who am I? 
Who am I as a valuable human being? Focusing on everything about myself that's true, which is I'm a brilliant human being. I'm capable of doing anything I want. I have inherent value. I am capable of being successful. Nothing can stop me. I can keep going. This is focusing on myself, my self-image. When you start to focus on the truth here, bang, you go up here into the flow state. The flow state is up here as I drop my pen for the second time. <laughs> So what you want to do is just bring everything to the truth. Forget the ego. Well, how you know that you're in a false dichotomy of choice on the, this level of ego is that you're not feeling good. Okay, you think, and you've been trying to figure this out. Why am I not focused? I hate this. I love this. Why aren't I more like this? I'm not feeling good. Bring your assumptions, question them. Bring them to the truth. And the truth will remind you this is pointless. Okay, you're on the wrong track. Focus on what's important, which is myself. I am what's important. As long as you believe in yourself, right? And you start to question all the old limiting programming and conditioning about yourself. Bang, straight up there. Now, the reason I kind of went through these levels here is I'm gonna do these levels with loads of questions for loads of different people because this is what's going on for everybody, okay? We're all at this level of consciousness, wondering why we're not here when really what we have to do is go through a level of inquiry. And if we do that, there is nothing that will hold us back. I promise you that. This is like, uh, everyone up at this level is like Eckhart Tolle, you know, or really great, uh, it's not even a spiritual thing, it's like amazing uh, sports stars, people in business, they're in this flow state of no thinking, just doing, just being. We all wanna to get to this level, but none of us want to go through this level. Now, this level is more like Byron Katie, which is inquiry, questioning everything. And this is the work for most of us, right? But it's so easy to learn, and it's so good when you find out that this actually works, okay? This works, this can actually get me to where I am without all the figuring out and struggling down at this level of consciousness. Einstein said, you can't find a solution to the problem at the same level of consciousness the problem was created. Now I'm paraphrasing. But you have to leave the level of consciousness if you have a problem and bring it up to something completely different. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm completely in the wrong ballpark. I need to think of something completely different. Fundamentally, who am I? Who am I? Just to remind yourself of that. Am I a weak, vulnerable person? Or am I very, very powerful? Am I infinitely uh, capable of infinite potential? And that will remind you, okay, that's okay. And now I'm remi I remember who I am. And now all these things on the ego level, the worldly level, just start to flow to us naturally, okay? So yes, to answer your question, you were lacking focus. You were focused on external things way, way too much. It's not that you were focused on them not enough. You weren't focused on who you are. Okay, when you bring it back to your own self-image, correcting that, everything starts to flow naturally. And don't feel bad because you were like a focus on that. We put that off, we procrastinate on that hugely. We procrastinate on doing this, bringing things to the truth because we're terrified that we might not be good enough. We are good enough. You are good enough if you're watching this, I can promise you that. And you will find out the truth is that you're good enough. So guys, I'm gonna leave it there. More of these videos on the way. Byron Katie's process, I haven't really gone into it here, but that's kind of what this is based on. Bringing things to the truth and doing the inquiry. If you have a question for me, you would like to go through this, or if you would like to work with me or take one of my video courses, you can go to drdavidmoney.com. Uh, or you can email me on uh, david at drdavidmurray.com and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you soon.